Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to solve an integration. So let's start the video. Here we can see the two terms t and one is e to the power minus s t. So let it first term and it is the second term. We will solve it by the half of integration by parts. Parts. So u v dx. We all know the formula integration u v dx equal to the first term will come out u and the second part in integration v dx then minus integration your differentiation of first part integration second part under bracket dx so here we can see the first term will come out and the integration of e to the power minus st you know e to the power minus st divided by minus s minus integration differentiation of t we know the differentiation of t means one and integration of second part so integration of second part means e to the power minus s t divided by minus s into d t so here we can write t by minus s or you can write minus t by s e to the power minus s t minus minus and minus will be plus integration of e to the power minus s t we can write like that e to the power minus s t divided by s dt we can write also that plus 1 by s e to the power minus s t dt i mean minus t by s e to the power minus s t plus 1 by s integration of this will be minus s t minus s so if we take common e to the power minus s t then minus t by s minus 1 by s square now if we put the limit 0 to infinity so then e to the power minus infinity bracket minus infinity by s minus 1 by s square minus e to the power 0 also minus t by s i mean 0 by s minus 1 by s square we can write e to the power minus infinity i mean 0 0 into something 0 minus 0 minus this is 1 and 0 0 something 0 by something means 0 and 1 by s square 0 0 and minus 0 minus minus plus 1 by s square this is the main answer so for getting such types of video please subscribe the channel and 
click the bell icon for getting the more updates very first thanks for watching the video